Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate the intersect all set operator introduced in Oracle Database 21C. We have three test tables. In the T1 table, we have two rows of record type 10, two rows of record type 20, and two rows of record type 30. In the T2 table, we have one row of record type 20 and one row of record type 30. There are no rows with record type 10. In the T3 table, we have two rows of record type 20 and two rows of record type 30. There are no rows with record type 10. First, we demonstrate the intersect set operator. We select all the rows from T1 then use the intersect operator and select all the rows from T2. We'll be left with only the rows that are present in both T1 and T2. Remember, the intersect operator removes duplicates, so effectively we're comparing distinct rows in each table. This is why we only see a single row for each of the record types 20 and 30. In Oracle 21C, we can explicitly use the distinct keyword to get the same result. We repeat the previous query, but use the intersect all set operator. Intersect all doesn't remove duplicate rows, but we see the same result. We have duplicates in T1 for record types 20 and 30, but only a single row for record types 20 and 30 in T2. As a result, the intersect all only finds a match for one row of each record type. This time we use intersect all again, but use T3 as the second table. T3 has two rows for each of record types 20 and 30. So this time we see two rows each for record types 20 and 30 in the final result set. Both rows for record types 20 and 30 have a match between tables. We switch back to using intersect, but continue to use T3 as the second table. Since duplicates are removed again, we go back to matching a single row for each record type. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.